All right, now it's time to go to host so we can link our uh, our volume that we created earlier into our server. So if you go to hosts on the left hand side, click on hosts, then you get this page right here. And we click on new host. And we're going to choose an iSCSI host because that's what we have. But if you have a SAS host, uh, then you would choose that at this time. All right, so we're going to go ahead and give the name of the server as our optional name. And then the iSCSI ports. Now the documentation says to use an IP address here of the server but that turns out to be incorrect you actually want to paste in uh, the iSCSI initiator name so to get that you need to go to server manager and from server manager you can go up to iSCSI initiator and if it prompts you just go ahead and turn it on uh, now the first thing you want to do is copy over the initiator name and hold that in your memory for a second and let's go over to the target now the target should be the IP address of one of the iSCSI ports on the uh, IBM Storewise so I know one of those IP addresses doesn't really matter which one it is just find one that you can connect to and then it shows up with the discovered target so that is correct now when we do that if we go over to discovery it uh, will eventually discover the rest of the IP addresses that are in our list it, it sometimes doesn't do it right away but it will eventually do that alright so then we have uh, favorite targets that shows up automatically volumes and devices will be blank until we finish the linking so we'll go back to configuration and we can see our uh, initiator name which we copied earlier alright so let's go ahead and go back to our iSCSI ports and we'll paste in that initiator name click add to list and we're going to leave this as generic go ahead and create host and once it's done completed now it says degraded but that's okay uh, because we haven't mapped anything to it so now what we're going to do is go to actions and click modify mappings all right so we see the volume that we created earlier we're just going to go ahead and add that to the right hand side and click apply and now we'll click close and it's the only option here is to cancel but that's okay you've already applied it so go ahead and click cancel and now we see that our volume is online alright so that is how you link your volume to your host